Have you ever wanted to farm Sanitar easier than Timmy's on Factory? If so, you're in the right place. Hey, I'm Yemen, and today I'm going to show you how to hunt this boss quickly and efficiently in Escape from Tarkov. Now, you're probably asking why. Why should I learn how to kill Sanitar? Well, to be honest, killing Sanitar isn't necessarily required for anything major in Tarkov. However, Knowing how to kill him will better your chances at surviving an encounter with him and will provide you with a mountain of injectors, many of which are expensive or are needed for various tasks. Additionally, Sanitar's guards typically sport really good gear and ammo, two things I'm sure most players want. Now, with that out of the way, let's talk general information about Sanitar and his goons. Now, Sanitar can be found on Shoreline, as a 20% spawn chance is accompanied by two guards and spawns in three locations, the pier, cottages, and the resort. Talking strictly about Sanitar, he runs no armor, carries either a VSS or suppressed cutter, and wears a medical bag, within which you can find a special apps card, tape key, random medical items, and typically several drug injectors such as the Zagustin, ETGC, Propotol, Mules, Meldonins, and many others. As for his guards, you'll find them with AKMs, AKs, Vepper AKs, and Segas. His weapons are typically loaded with 7.62x39 T45M, 7.62x39 BP, 5x5 Agolnik, 5x5 BT, and in the Segas, Grizzly Slugs, AP-20 Slugs, or Flechette. For their armor, I tend to find Class 5 or Class 4, the most common being Defender 2s and Gazelle armors, so all pretty juicy. Now, I'm making this its own section because I need you to understand something important. Grenades are your best friend in Tarkov, whether you're solo or in a group. Not only do they force AI to run away or bug out, but they can also be thrown into spawns to alert you of any scavs or bosses that could be lying in wait, since AI will always cry out with a voice line when threatened by any kind of ordinance. Basically, treat grenades like an early warning system. I can attest that a vast majority of my boss deaths have come from getting jumped or being unprepared, so please, bring grenades. Additionally, I need to explain the importance of right hand slow peaks. As shown on screen, when fighting AI, you should always use Alt plus A or D, a movement keybind that allows you to slow peak angles since it practically makes you invisible to AI when used on a right hand. How? Well, put simply, so little of your body peeks out when using this movement that AI can't register that you're in front of them which allows you to shoot at them while they cannot. Arguably the most important part of this whole guide, what gear should you bring in? Thankfully, Sandy and his guards will often murder you just as quickly with or without the best armor, so I recommend something you're comfortable running. For myself, that would be a TV-110, a Grizzly Med Kit, a Pom Pom, etc, etc. And as for the weapon, I recommend anything full auto that sports high flesh damage ammo, such as the Mutant or RD-704 with 760BP, or an MDR with M80 or M62. Single fire weapons will work, but due to Sanitar's incredibly high health and the stimulants he pops automatically, it often takes 2-4 headshots alone to take him down, so be wary. Additionally, bring a scope, preferably something greater than a 2x, you'll be using this to abuse right hand peaks. Now for the how. First things first, just skip pure. Early wipe, mid wipe, late wipe, pure's a death zone. With shooter borners sniping for those all around, with there being very little cover to and from the location, as well as it being out of the way, it just isn't worth it. For Cottage, which you should be seeing right now, and located on the west side of Shoreline, walk up from any side, hug the fence, and toss a couple flashbangs or grenades towards the main cottage itself and the greenhouses. Sandy can spawn anywhere in the vicinity, so listen for voice lines, Sanitar is being a very distinct raspy scav voice. If you don't hear anything, you can always pop your head in a check, however if you're trying to be efficient, head up to the resort. Now, what if we hear him? Well, from here, if he's located towards a cottage, Keep tossing nades to get a better idea of where he's at. Once you have an accurate-ish location, walk up to different holes in the fence around the cottage, as shown now, and utilize the right-hand slow peek to search for the boss. Once you find them, be sure to multi-headshot quickly, as they do have high head HP and are probably drugged up on heal stims. If you don't kill them on the first peek, that's fine, just take a step back, throw some nades, and repeat. If anything, hold an angle, the guards will typically push you as well. At the resort, Sandy can spawn an admin, bottom of a west wing, or bottom of east wing. Here, utilize nades or flashes to locate where they are, since they often sit in rooms. If you hear them aggro on a grenade or a flash, be ready to right hand peek the hallway as they typically come running out of their hiding spots and are very easy to kill here, since they can't shoot while on the move. If you miss your shots or find yourself hurt for whatever reason, be sure to retreat to second floor and collect yourself, as the boss can't push upstairs. Heal, then repeat. Now, if you're interested, is a lightly edited run through of my pathing, which can be reconstructed no matter where you spawn on the map. If you spawn over by cottage, start by clearing the spawn as I showed at the start of the video and proceed to the resort, clearing with flashes as you go. Even if players are encountered, these runs shouldn't take more than 10 minutes each. 
I should also mention that fighting Sanator in an offline raid isn't the same as fighting him online, so I'll be cutting this run right after finding him at Cottage. I really hope you enjoyed the guide, and if you found it helpful, be sure to leave a like and let me know what guide you want to see next. We're also live over on Twitch every day, so if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask them over there. So I'm going to jump in here to let you guys know that at this point I'm fairly certain the guards and boss are on the other side of this fence, most likely on the outer edge of the corner. In a normal raid, if you're faced with a situation similar to this, you're probably out of flashes by now, so just hug the wall and peer through the cracks. They should aggro on you when you're near them, and at that point hold an angle and shoot as they push you. <laughs> 